Okay, so what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Hendrix Monet of Shit Talk No Fragrance Podcast. And today I am taking over Emerging Black Network. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit of shit today with y'all. Um, and today I have with me Miss Dario Williamson of the Dollhouse Fantasy. So, Miss Dario, introduce yourself. Let the people know who you are. My name is Daria Williamson. I'm 23 years old and I started my own adult novelty company called The Dollhouse Fantasy. Um, I started this business when I was 19 and when I was 19 before I got a physical location, I was selling adult toys out of the trunk of my 2002 pink Hyundai Sonata. Pink? Pink. Pink Hyundai Sonata. Okay, so everybody knew you was coming. Everybody knew I was coming. All right, all right. So uh, uh, how did you get your idea for your business? I got my idea for my business um, because I always wanted to start my own business. Um, I used to think day in and day out about, you know, what can I do that nobody's doing? What would be different? What would be something that I'm interested in doing? Um, so before I actually took action, I thought about doing this business or starting this business for like, nine months um i used to ask my friends hey what y'all think about me selling adult toys and everybody was kind of giving me a look like are you sure are you sure i'm like yeah i don't know if i'm sure and um one day i just did it and it was a success well sex sales you know people are having sex with each other by themselves you know so sex toys uh lingerie all of that will come in handy i don't think you'll ever go out of business boo because especially not with me as a customer um so um to what do you attribute your success um well prior to me starting my own business i mean my daughter was homeless in 2014 um and then the following year well we we was homeless in 2014 and then we got our first apartment in 2014 um then her dad pat we got murdered in 2015 yeah her dad got murdered in 2015 don't cry don't cry don't cry Hold on, y'all. Give her a moment. (laughs) Today is actually his birthday. Oh, man. I was in the process of finding myself like, hey, dang, I got to provide for my daughter. At the time, she was two. She's five years old now. But at the time, um, I was just trying to find myself like I got to, you know, find a way to, you know, feed my daughter. She need clothes. She need shoes. You know, got to keep the lights on. Got to, you know, keep a roof over my head. Um, so then I end up um, find, finding a job. At Fanatics, it was a warehouse. Um, it wasn't really something that I wanted to do, but you know, as a mother, I'm gonna do anything, you know, just to take care of my daughter. Um, so I'm there, and um, what well, really, I was there for like three days. Um, but one day I was walking, and um, it was a security guard there, and he was like, hey, you look like you lost. And I'm like, why you say that? And he was like, I mean, look at you. Because I had my, hair, my nails on, hair done. So he was like, you look like you don't belong here. And I'm like, you know, you right. You know, like, you, you're right. So um, he was like, have you ever thought about, you know, doing something other than this? And I'm like, you know, yeah, this not, you know, my um, set destination. You know, I'm just trying to hustle up some money where... I can provide for my daughter. So, um, I, I believe, like, the, the following day, I ended up getting into it with a team leader. Um, she was over the warehouse, like, a certain apartment or whatever where I was working at. And uh, we ended up getting into it, and I was just like, you know what? I was, like, real angry. Like, I was, like, very upset. I don't even feel like getting into details of what happened. Mm-hmm. So, I just called my mom, like, you know, nah, this ain't for me. I can't I can't do this. And she's like, you know what? Well, I told you that that place is only for people where that's their last option. Like, people that's convicted felons. And she was like, you know, you graduated. You got your diploma. You pretty. You know, you don't have no background. You need to find somewhere. You need to find a job. Excuse me. Where um <clears throat> you sitting behind a desk or something, you know, you call center jobs or whatever. So I'm like, you know, I really didn't want to do that either. <laughs> I didn't want to do that either. So um, so like two days later, I came to back to Fanatics to get my final check, and it was three hundred dollars. 
so I'm like, okay, this this is the only money that I have right now. So, like I said, at, at the time, I was contemplating with myself, like, whether I wanted to start this business or not. So, um, you know, I'm looking at the check, and I'm like, you know, do I spend these last $300 and, you know, try to find another job? Or do I take these last $300 and make something happen with this business? So, what I did was I took the last my last check, which was $300, and... I made something happen with this business. I ordered, um, I found me a distributor, ordered me some products, and I'm like, hey, you know, I don't know what's going to happen, but I know I got to get some money. <laughs> so, um, I posted on Facebook, you know, but hey, everyone, you know, let everybody know I'll be having a, I will have, I will be having adult toys, and I wanted, so I got my product, I uploaded the box and the, um, shipment, and that day, um, like in four hours, I made fifteen hundred dollars. Oh wow! Yeah, I made fifteen hundred dollars, and I was so excited. I was very, oh, I was so excited. I was like, man, I ain't never working again. <laughs> I'm never working again. Um, I was all at gas stations with the box of toys. Um, actually, my first customer, I still remember her to this day. Her name was Deborah. And she purchased something from me at the gas station. The people seeing us digging in the box. And everybody like, hey, 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 what you selling? What you selling? And she like, adult toys. She got the toys. She got the toys. And everybody just came running. Oh, what you got? What you got? Let me get this. Let me get this. Let me get that. I'm going to tell my homegirls about you. And it went from there. <laughs> well, um, team leader at Fanatic. <laughs> <laughs> you slept on her. <laughs> now look at her. She got her own business. I wonder if you're still a team leader at Fanatic. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So uh, what made you choose your um, your current location? What made me choose my current location? Um, it's affordable. <laughs> it's affordable and it's a discreet location. So I know a lot of people, um, they are, um, like, they don't, want to be seen in the adult store so where my location you can't see nobody coming in and out of here unless you're here so that was for discreet purposes okay okay yeah because i honestly i don't i can't tell you <laughs> i was trying to find and i'm like oh my god where is it I'm looking for a sign but yeah um so now that i know where you are you know i can just walk up in here and nobody got to know what i'm doing mm -hmm. you want to give your address to them so they yeah, I get address. The address is 8818 Arlington Expressway, Jacksonville, Florida, Suite A. Okay, and uh, what is unique about your business? What's unique about my business is that, um, well, gen gen generally when people think of an adult store, they think of dark colors like black, um, dark pink, um, gray, and I wanted to steer away from the typical adult store. So that's why I chose the color cotton candy pink, white, and gray. Um, it's more of like a relaxing, comfortable, inviting color. Um, so like when I first opened my business and people come in the doors, everybody, first thing they do, they, wow, like it's so beautiful in here. And, you know, people don't just grab and go like a, a, a normal adult store because nobody want to be seen. The colors make you comfortable you know people come in here and talk to me all the time for hours you know they don't care if they mama finna come in the store and see them because it's, it's inviting you know mm -hmm. so when they um when they're purchasing purchasing items and, I, and i'm letting them know how the items work and you know what they do they're like okay 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 and then they want wine and they want music and i'm like it'd be a nice time a nice time they invite their friends they go live take pictures so hey <laughs> Yeah, it is. It is nice in here. Um, your rug, actually, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie um, Strictly Business when Halle Berry, they was on the red couch and they had the little like fur rug and the little sex scene. When I walked in, I was like, this kind of looked like Strictly Business where Halle Berry was getting busy on the rug. But uh, yeah. So, OK, go ahead. And I also wanted to add, I want to get this elegant look. Okay. So elegant, classy. I think I, I think I nailed it. You what you think? You did. You did. It's very pretty in here. Um, some of my favorite colors, actually, with the gray and the pink. Sparkly. Um, so, what made you choose the sex toy business as opposed to all other types of business? What made me choose the sex toy business? Um, like I said, at the time, like, I needed some money to feed my daughter. Um, but like I said, I always wanted to own the business. Um... It's unique. You know, ain't too many people doing it. Like I said, I started this business at 19. So even when I was meeting older women, like 40, and they're like, 19? 
what you doing with a <laughs> what you doing with sex toy? What you doing with a sex toy business? But then when I let them know, like the knowledge that I have about my products, I get them. You know, they be they're interested in shopping with me. So it's not about me being young. I know what I'm talking about. I know my product. So that's what you know t sell people, and that's what people take on as as me as a person in my business. Um, I also chose this business because. Like I said, it's, it's unique. I mean, you don't really hear too many about too many adult stores, but Adam and Eve, you know, the yeah. big, you know, main companies. But a young girl, 19. Black girl. It is, it is. Young black girl, black girl magic, doing her own thing. She is 23, started at 19. Okay, so um, again, you guys, I am Hendrix Monet of Shit Talk, Shit Talk No Fragrance Podcast. You can um, follow me on Twitter, Hendrix Monet, all together. Instagram, Hendrix Monet, all together. You can find the podcast on Google Play, um, SoundCloud. It is now on Podbay, Castbox, a few other places. YouTube. Um, you can follow the show, Shit Talk No Fragrance, on Twitter as well. Um, you want to give them all of your information as well? My Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram at the Dollhouse Fantasy. Just the Dollhouse Fantasy all together. No caps, no um, spaces. Um, you can find me on my personal page at Darielle Williamson. And that's D-A-R-I-E-L. My last name is Williamson. W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S-O-N. And you can find my Facebook business page at the Dollhouse Fantasy. All right, y'all. I'm about to get out of here. I'm going to go do a little bit of shopping. Bounce that. Party. 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 Party.